Welcome back, everybody. You'll never guess where we're standing today, in front of the brand new home of Good Works Tractors. Yeah, I know this is probably catching a lot of you off guard because we had every intention of building a new facility for our business, but life has a way of throwing you curveballs, and we found this opportunity. We were able to move in, get in there right away versus, well, I'm preaching to the choir. Everybody knows we're all dealing with it together, right? Long lead times, increased costs, just a bad combination. So we got lucky and found this place just down the road, just 15 minutes away, a vacant building, 20,000 square foot with three acres, another four acres next to it. This is a great setup, exactly what we needed. So we jumped on it. As always, we are proud to be sponsored by Boro Wheel Spacers. If you are feeling tippy on your tractor, adding wheel spacers can make a big difference. Boro Spacers are made in America. They have a lifetime warranty. If you'd like to get more information, we'll put a link down below on where you can buy them. So we found this building. It's in Paw Paw, Michigan, just the next town over in a business park. Now, we're the only business out here in the business park, but I'm okay with that. When we got the construction quotes to build out a pole barn, to build out any kind of a building, that was a lot smaller than this and the amount of time it would take to build that and move in we knew we needed to look in a different direction to find a more short-term solution but similar to all the shortages that are out there in the supply base for the residential housing market the same thing is happening in the commercial market so just like tractors it's driving the prices way up and anytime a new listing would come on the market there would be multiple offers you'd pay over ask yada 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 but i've also learned a lot about the process as well every township every county seems to have different zoning ordinances of what's allowed what type of uses are allowed even if something is considered commercial or industrial oftentimes there's subsets that you may or may not qualify for it's a real headache it takes a lot of homework a lot of phone calls to different agencies different folks them researching getting back to you so it's a pain to deal with but this place checked all the boxes so we were good to go on it it's got just a small amount of office space up front with some huge warehouse space in the back high ceilings lots of overhead doors a decent amount of outside space as well we do store a lot of attachments out in a yard too it's even close to the highway so great for the trucks that are constantly coming in and out you might be able to hear that in the background right now so we just signed the paperwork we haven't moved in yet but i want to give you a quick tour of what this place is going to be all about and you can watch it get filled out here in the coming weeks all right so what you see here is the main section of warehouse and you know we've got some some floor plans already so we got to sketch those up and try to figure out the best layout and i I gotta imagine there's gonna be some trial and error that goes into this. We'd love to get some racking in here too at some point, but just like everything else, that's experiencing a decent lead time from what I'm being told too. But I think what we'll do in the meantime is at least lay things out, you know, uh, uh, draw it out, um, tape it out on the floor so we have our aisleways. Um, try to have everything as organized as we possibly can. We have a lot of equipment to get in here and I know the racking down the road is gonna make a big difference on our usable space. And this whole big warehouse is heated as well. And, you can see the insulation uh, up, up top and then on the outer walls too. So we'll be able to have heat here in the winter time, which the guys are gonna love because right now they're spending a lot of time working year round outside, which, you know, it gets pretty cold here in Michigan. Okay, so now we're standing in the middle of that same big warehouse. And if you look behind me, you're gonna see there's an overhead door that goes into another section of warehouse and then an exterior overhead door that way. So there are a total of three exterior overhead doors I don't know how tall they are. Maybe 16 foot would be my hunch, but maybe they're only 14 foot, somewhere right in that range. And then behind the camera that way, on the main level, there's gonna be a row of offices, break room, bathrooms, that kind of thing. And then up above the offices that I'm staring at here, there's, you're gonna see yellow railing. That's a whole mezzanine for additional storage space up there. Haven't figured out exactly what we're gonna use that for yet. Probably maybe just extra packing materials, that kind of thing, but something fairly lightweight. I don't think it's gonna take um, a stack of rototiller sitting up there or anything like that. Okay, so this is the other overhead door that's on the south side of the building. And you can see all the way back through there, just a ton of usable space. I mean, this is just so exciting for us. And one of the things I love is there's power outlets uh, every 12 feet, 16 feet, something like that, all the way around in this unit and the other unit. There's just a ton of power available for us to hook up. Well, I've been thinking about getting one of those electric forklifts. I don't know what you guys think about that or not, but we want to get some other packing stations too, like with a foam packer for a lot of our stuff that requires uh, 220 or 240 volt. So this whole building is just set up really well for our application and for our needs. This has actually been sitting vacant. You see a couple of, of boats in here, they're, they're not our boats. We just signed the paperwork um, 
yesterday or the day before. So we just took over this facility and they still have it here, but they actually bought the facility the previous owner did three years ago. It's been sitting vacant the entire time since then. They were part of a group that actually intended to use it for the um, medical and recreational use marijuana that recently became legalized in Michigan. And that was their thought process here. They've been waiting on the township to um, zone this for rec use. Right now it was only for medical use. And so they kept waiting and waiting and just nothing ever happened on getting that zoning um, permitted for rec use as well. And so this building essentially became worthless to them. And so they wanted to offload it. So don't feel bad for the old owner though. We ended up paying 25% more than what they bought it for just three years ago. And that tells you how crazy the market is. And for me, I feel like I got a good value because for me to build this out, anything comparable, I saved at least 50% compared to the cost of new construction and not to mention a couple years of waiting as well. So this has been great news for us even though the old owner's dreams went up in smoke. All right so now we're on the back side of the building and it came with this ramshackle barn here I guess and it's got uh, power to it and exhaust on there and everything else but it has seen better days so we have some work to do around here to get this place cleaned up. Some random trash and they trimmed up a bunch of pine trees that we got to clear out and and then down to the south is an extra four acres that we're working on securing right now too and so that's going to require a complete clear out you know putting in gravel and drainage and everything else so we got to fence it in too lighting the list just goes on so there's a lot of work to do out here to develop it and get it set up the way that we want but it gets us into a new space a heck of a lot quicker. So this is gonna be the office area up front. And again, right up above us is the mezzanine that you can see from back in the warehouse area. But you'd come through the main doors here. You have several offices, more than we need. We don't need all these kind of offices, a break room, another storage room, two bathrooms as well. But this place definitely could use a little freshening up. We're gonna get some new floor and get some new paint in here, probably fix some lighting as well, and just try to basically give it a good works tractors makeover and just have it match the rest of the building and everything that we want to represent. All right, so this is the outside space and everything that you see, that's the open field area. The tree line is essentially the borders right now. And again, behind me, we're looking at getting four acres. It's all vacant land there. We're going to incorporate that. We need to fence this whole area off too. And I don't think we're going to pave it. We're just going to stone it or gravel it and, and whatnot just to keep the cost down a bit. But it's more space than it seems like in pictures. There's a lot of outside storage space that's here right now. Although we are gonna find a way to fill that up pretty quickly. Now, one of the things I'm not excited about is the fact that the warehouse is heated by propane. So that is gonna get costly. I believe the propane tank was sitting right here and since it had been not used and not occupied, they took it away. So we gotta get that back out here and hooked up and operating. But natural gas isn't currently an option. If there's another way to tie into the current heating system, to use an alternative heat source, renewable, whatever it is, I'm all ears to hear about what that option might be and to entertain the cost. I'm sure it could be quite expensive, but uh, if I can get off propane, I sure would like to. You know, so getting this facility is really gonna be like me adding a whole other employee because we are wasting so much time between our location and Texas Corners and driving out to our property in Richland. It's a half hour drive each way, plus the time to load everything onto a trailer, bring it back to our shop in Texas Corners, pack up and ship out. We are wasting, I haven't even added it up, but I would guess 20 to 30 man hours a week just transporting stuff back and forth out there. It's a colossal waste of time. We're gonna be so much more efficient here, be able to ship out so many more orders, much quicker, a lot more happy customers. And I can tell you, my entire team is really excited about this move as well. This will allow us to focus on a lot of other things and really raise the overall morale across the board. So really, this is just kind of the initial overview. Expect to see a lot of videos out here in the future, but we are gonna keep that Richland property, do all sorts of stuff out there as well. But I wanna say thank you for everybody that follows along, everybody that supported the business and watched us as we grow and grow. And this is the next step. I think we're gonna be here for quite a while, but who knows what the future holds. But on that note, if you haven't done so yet, we'd love to have you follow along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. And if you need something for your tractor, for the front end loader, for the three point hitch, we would love to help you out. We sell and ship tractor attachments all over the country. Check out goodworkstractors.com. So thanks for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.